What is going on? I'm Zedmont. Today is War Factory Day. Have managed to get to 22 on warships, but we are not going to be focusing on that today. We're going to start off with our max level against War Factory. We'll do a HQ 16 or 17 in a second, but first wanted to look and see what we've got in front of us. Looks very, very, very straightforward for max level players. Um, I'm just going to go with... I want to use Grenadiers. I know that's kind of stupid, but um, Grenadiers still have a special warm, cozy spot in my heart, so don't have a troop loadout for them. Also, there are no tribes right now, so um, for Grenadiers, I should say. Scorcher health. I mean, throwing Scorchers into the fray here, you would just absolutely crush it, so I'm going to skip on that. We are going to bring, like, maybe two boats of Bombardiers with our Grenadiers, and we'll just see if we can walk through all of the things. Uh, I kind of assume we can, but just figured, you know what, let's mix it up a little bit. Scorchers should be, like I said, very, very, very easy for this. There's no grapplers, um, only the two itty-bitty little Doom Cannon ones should be able to just absolutely crush this. So that is what we're going to do, but... Oh, we got Super Warriors too. Super Warriors somehow, some way should be able to help, help low levels. Uh, this is going to give me a little bit of time to think about it, which is kind of nice. Um, don't have any idea. This is the first time I've scouted War Factory. Um, haven't done any attacks since the um, Super Warriors were brought in, apparently. Going to get some critters out there. Going to get them out before Eversparks critters, just trying to get rid of some of those boom mines and now we just need to throw a shock right about can i get all of these things look at that we got four out of five not two shabby eversparks critters gonna help us at the same time i guess i got more like six out of seven or something uh, but didn't i don't really count that boom surprise as one of the dangerous things here and then we're just gonna walk through all this stuff eversparks critters going to help us bit by stinking little bit and then hopefully we should be able to maybe we'll just drop a super warrior there just in case it's not going to do super well against that shock blaster but as you can see there it's not dying it's doing decently okay so even though i missed the easy easy shock let's throw one more of those super warriors over there just in case and now just cruising on through all of the things Eversparks critters are gone way too far to the left, which is not being super awesome, but the pinpoint accuracy of those bombardiers definitely helping. And now Eversparks critters needed to keep all of those boom surprises from popping back down, because as soon as they pop back down, we're going to start losing all sorts of troops in a bad, bad, bad way. Probably not going to solo this just because making way too many mistakes and not having enough gunboat energy to keep those boom surprises booming. But, I mean, super, super simple War Factory today. Any max level should be able to take this down. When I say super simple, by the way, I am not talking about for all levels. Um, an, an XP 70 is like five times more powerful than an XP 40, for example. It's not twice as powerful. It's hugely, hugely, hugely more powerful. And the fact that we've now only got three bombardiers left, or sorry, five bombardiers left, I should say, means that burning through that shield is going to be absolutely, absolutely painful. And so with a little bit of video magic, we're just going to bring all bombardiers back and just burn through that shield. Grenadiers did fantastic, and I would highly recommend bringing some Grenadiers if you're going to use Bombardiers, because they're going to clear some mines. They also have more health. They can tank rocket launchers and things, but just not super duper complicated War Factory today for those max levels. Just drop some Scorchers. Actually, that's what we're going to do right this second. I'm going to switch it up. We'll do one more max level attack just to show you what the heck I'm talking about. Okay. 
Okay, so on to the max level. I believe we've got a Scorcher loadout. There we go, right there. Getting all of the Scorchers. I doubt I have enough gunboat energy to drop them all, but we're just going to go with something like this. Dropping all of our Scorchers. Yep, see how it suddenly stops load dropping them because we just don't have enough gunboat energy to drop them. And then we're going to go something like that. Getting that shock on that one left-hand side, and then we're going to bring in these guys for that right-hand side. Kavon is going to be a bro and just hang out with us, allow us to drop some extra pink zombie scorchers if required, but I would be very, very surprised if that if it's going to come to that. I mean, we've got 16 red fire tanks just cruising through all of this stuff, and then we can always bring back some rifles if we don't lose any scorchers because rifles could give us a little bit of extra damage, but again, I kind of doubt that it's going to come to that. Save the core. If you've never done it, this is the time to do it. Like, low level... Oh, look at that! We can bring back a pink zombie scorcher! Um, low level doom cannons. Only one boom cannon on the entire map, and then a couple cannons on that right-hand side. So not a huge, huge concern under any stretch of the imagination. Um, nothing super duper difficult about this for people who have scorchers. I do have troop health, and I've just let my scorchers roam. Probably not the best bet. Would have been way, way, way smarter to go back there and get some of those shield gens down, but we are not about smart on this channel at the moment. Doing all of the silly, silly, silly things just to see what the heck's going to happen. Look at that. Those super warriors are taking down the shock blaster bit by stinking little bit. The fact that they slow it down and they end up healing themselves as they bash away at it. That was where Life Leech came from, by the way, was Warriors. Warriors were the OG Life Leechers. Kind of surprised that they managed to take down that Shock Blaster. Was there any purpose for me taking down that Shock Blaster? No, not really. But you could then throw another Super Warrior back there and take that... Um, What's it called? Rocket launcher down potentially. One thing to be aware of, super warriors do change levels based on which headquarters level, which armory level is deploying them. So if you're like an HQ 16 and you're like, hey, I can take down the rocket launcher and the shock launcher, shock blaster. Probably, probably not. Again, not a super duper sexy attack going on here. We've got some rifles blasting away. We are losing our scorchers one by one. We probably just burned two million gold so can you solo war factory with the scorchers yep but this is not the way that i would recommend doing it unless you're looking to burn a little bit of that extra gold lost a scorcher along the way but now we're in this free snipe spot where all of our pink rifle zombie dudes are shooting the core melting that shield also we've got four scorchers left now pink zombie scorchers do not do more damage than regular scorchers unfortunately they just have that wonderful pink fashion-y glow. So, um, I, I kind of wish that the ones that they brought back were stronger. That would be, I don't know, I think it would just be kind of neat as opposed to those zombie rifles that come back weaker and weaker. Just another option for Supercell with that whole uh, proto-troop deal where it would actually be beneficial to kill your troops. That would be a good way to get people to use instant training, I suppose. Um, anyways, down goes... Oh, look at this! Drama! Drama! Oh, three seconds on the clock. That is fantastic. See, there was a, a little bit of a reason to my madness. Um, mix some bombardiers in there. Bring them in a little bit late if you're worried about keeping them alive. That way the lasers are gone. Um, and then you should be able to burn that one. Super duper simple. Speaking of simple, we're going to jump to our low level and see what the heck we can do with that puppy. Okay, Engineer apparently has expired. Surprise, surprise. Do we have instant training in this account? No, we do not. And we only have nine diamonds. We're going to have to use a different account. How many accounts do you have, though? I've got an HQ-16, an HQ-17, and an HQ-18. All for the tubes. I know that irks a couple people. They hate it when they don't upgrade an account, but 
it's for you guys. I, it's frustrating to not upgrade an account, but at the same time, it's kind of nice to just have certain accounts that you can use for testing and things like that. So we are going to do some hacky hacking. That left hand side doom cannon is going to get Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get most of our gunboat energy on that left side doom cannon because it's going to be a problem. We're going to throw an artillery on to that rocket. We're going to drop Everspark over here. As soon as she gets close, I am going to flare the mortar. Why the mortar, you ask? Because we need to hack two things. I don't just hack one thing. We're going to try our best to hack two things, just like Everspark tried her best to walk out of the smoke. Now, you might be thinking you need to use critters because you're next to that shock blaster. Not when the shock blaster hasn't seen you. Easy peasy. Down go the two range defenses that are our number one priority right now. And then we're just going to throw all of our HQ-17 barrage towards that left-hand side doom cannon. Attack number one is complete. That is all that we needed to do. Don't care about that shock launcher on the right in the slightest. Next up on our list is just to get rid of that doom cannon. Um, I realize this is probably a silly, silly waste of gunboat energy and I might regret it at a later date, but it just feels like that doom cannon is so far from the cluster that it's going to pick our troops off one by stinking one. It might end up that we don't need to do that at all, but that is where we're going to start things off. Next up, I am going to mark that far, far left shock blaster. And then I'm going to drop this dude right about here, hoping that he can clear some of those mines for us. I don't have... See that? See how fast that thing died? Absolute insanity. Low level um, super warriors, not anywhere near as strong as max levels. So let's get in here. Let's burn some of these troops, spend some of these diamonds and see what the heck we can accomplish. So I don't think we have to be absolutely perfect with our smokes to start with because we are ever so, ever so slightly off the shore. Just make sure you drop your flags slightly left of center. You will get great, great benefits from doing that. And now that we're in here, I'm going to use two shocks. Can we get away with one? Maybe, but I figure that two shocks are better than one in this instance and we're just going to do our darndest to get rid of all of these defenses all at once here there is that shock next up we're going to shock right about there trying to get rid of all of the doom cannons and the lasers come on get rid of that laser right there need it to go as soon as absolutely absolutely possible there we go managed to get rid of all of the ranged difficult defenses for Zookas to deal with in one simple, simple attack. I mean, there was a little tiny bit of skill involved there, but not a heck of a lot. And we got rid of that sniper tower on the right, and now we're basically set up. I'm going to use all of my gunboat energy on these left-hand side machine guns so that we can get over there away from the sniper towers. Don't want to deal with those sniper towers at all. They will just chew through all of our troops, and we definitely, definitely don't want that. Also, sniper towers don't have a ton of health, so we should be able to just throw artillery and barrage on them without having to worry too much about getting wrecked. Shock launchers and shock blasters and doom cannons and things have far, far, far more health than those machine guns. Just like this, we've managed to get decently far without using a heck of a lot of skill or effort or troops so now just hoping that though you see that super warriors low level super warriors not going super duper far that was a bit of a waste of gunboat energy for sure and now can we get one more hack i don't think we can get one more hack it's gonna be awfully close but at least we can clear these mines probably with our troops i feel like our troops are gonna walk directly okay a little bit close there for comfort but look at this Boom, down go two more machine guns. We are absolutely crushing it. I should be retreating right now, but it's just the difference between like four diamonds and six diamonds to replace our troops or something ridiculous like that. So as our Zookas di distract that boom surprise, trying to get a couple licks in on that machine gun, not bad, not bad at all. Typically I don't waste that many troops, but the fact that we managed to do decently, decently well there, getting rid of a ton of defenses there, like we 
even just getting the rewards there. We have two attacks left. We've got 45 gears. Just need 20 more to get that final reward. But we're going to go all the way. Because I've heard a bunch of you talking about how you're short on prototype parts. Seems like a very, very easy way to get all sorts of prototype parts. So let's do we got two more attacks, folks. Two more attacks. I do not have terribly great statues. I also do not have terribly high amounts of gunboat energy. So you guys should be able to follow this. Just if you're not super duper strong with smokes. Just remember that you can double or triple up your smokes, make them super duper fat, and you'll have no problems at all. Everspark's going to hack that left-hand side machine gun. Come on, I think she's going to hack that machine gun. Don't actually know what she's going to hack. Okay, there it goes. So, I shocked the machine gun. That was an absolute waste of a hack, but I think, think, think that we should still be okay. Just got to keep some things shocked here as we watch the timer on that left-hand side machine gun. That is going to be absolutely critical. Need to shock that puppy. That was not well done whatsoever. So it's never a good time when you sh don't see whatever Spark's going to hack and then she ends up hacking something as you've shocked every single building that can shoot it. So, I mean, we're, we've got a free snipe spot right here. All we need to do is move the heck over probably should have gone and gotten a couple more of those sniper towers but at the same time Eversparks critters are going to do fairly good for us we've got one more attack if you're worried about gold and diamonds just retreat right here right now just be aware that that one mine right there is probably going to eat up like half of my troops so should we retreat sure let's speed things up just a teeny tiny bit that is why i always 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 do my core hits with one attack left poof down go the Zookas, unfortunately. So, can you take this down? Most definitely. Using Scorchers for max levels, with, with some Bombardiers mixed in behind them. For low levels, I always, always recommend using Zookas. There is so much benefit to learning how to use Zookas, especially on War Factory, where it doesn't really, really matter if you're going to win or lose. So, we're just going to smoke these puppies in here, right here, right now, and I am going to use that hack yet again. She's going to hack that far sniper tower, which is going to be super duper useful for us. And then out come some critters, also our Zookas clearing the way forwards as those far, far sniper towers focus on that sniper tower that is indeed hacked. So we're going to get one more sniper tower, then we're going to get the heck out of here. That last sniper tower is barely clinging to life as we get the rest of our troops way the heck over here. Mixing in some super warriors because why the heck not. And then down goes War Factory. There is no chance that we do lose this attack. We've got so many Zookas burning that core. We've got critters out front. We've got super warriors as well. And those super warriors are going to end up healing themselves and those critters are going to protect the super warriors at the same time so will the super warriors die probably but those critters are going to try their best to keep our super warrior dudes alive down goes the core hopefully this was helpful for you i know that my warships videos get like five times the views but uh my war factory videos get a whole bunch of comments from people who are grateful for these so I realize my time zone sucks for War Factory. I know you guys had to wait for this video, but I do appreciate you guys waiting, and it means the world to me. So if this video helped you out, if this was for some reason your first ever War Factory takedown, please don't forget to throw that in the comments. Also, click that bell, tell a friend, all of those sorts of details. If someone in your task force is complaining about how hard War Factory is, send them my way. Because as long as you're XP 37, you can take this puppy down. And if you're wondering why I say XP 37 all the time, it is because in order to get Universal Remote, you need to be XP 37. Side note, do not upgrade the Universal Remote. There is no little to zero benefit. Your tokens are better spent elsewhere. That is all for me, though. As per always, like it says down there in that bottom left-hand side, every six days, do go throw Code Zedmot in Brawl Stars, in Clash of Clans, in Boom Beach, in Heyday, in all the other Supercell games as well. That is all for me, as always. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmot. Peace.